guys welcome back to my channel if you watched my previous video and if not and you're new hi um i'm sean which you'll know from my channel it's s s pronounced sean not cyan or cyan um which a lot of people think it is pronounced um yeah anyway i'm gonna try and be really quick because my last video i talked for like five minutes um and yeah but i just want to say thank you for watching my previous video if you have if you haven't please go and watch it now um today i'm going to be doing a new year's eve look i wanted to do christmas but i got really sick and i just couldn't be bothered to do it but i want to do this video and if you're watching it it should be the day of new year's eve that you're watching this so you could watch this whilst you're doing it um but yeah anyway i'm just gonna leave it here now um as, as I said before, thank you for coming to my channel, um, please like, comment, give me feedback and also obviously subscribe, share with your friends, um, I'm new here, I want to share my journey with everyone so yeah, anyway I'm going to get into it. So I'm starting with my eyebrows and I'm using the Eyelaw palette, um, I used to use Dip Brow but to be honest this is more... I don't know it's cheaper for one it's like 10 pound and I don't know I prefer it it doesn't dry out I found that my dip brow from Anastasia dried out so badly but yeah anyway so I've just lined my brows and then I'm gonna fill them in and then I'm speaking prematurely but I'm gonna <laughs> underline it with concealer My eyebrows are definitely not the same shape. Um, I need to go and get them plucked. Uh, but yeah. So now I'm going in with the concealer. I'm using the NYX HD Photogenic Concealer, I think it is. Um, I like it. It's alright. It was only £6, so not too bad. Um, I want to try out a different colour though. Because this one's quite reddish. Um, yeah, so anyway, underline under my brows and then I'm just gonna start blending it. And the brush I'm using is from Morphe, I don't remember the name of it, but it has a spoolie at the end, which I was using just before this. Now I'm gonna buff out the concealer with a Zoeva concealer brush. Um, I love the Zoeva brushes, they're like literally my favourite brushes and to be honest I don't think they're that expensive, most people would say they are expensive and also the brush that I use to actually fill in my brows is also Zoeva, it's a Zoeva angled liner brush I believe. You can get them in sets from um, like Cult Beauty or Beauty Bay, like they're really good, I think the one, the set that I got was 65 and it was a mixture of face brushes and eye brushes um, and I'm hoping to get the complete set uh, next year it's like 170 which I don't think is that bad for like quite a few brushes now I'm putting concealer on my lid to block out any discoloration because my lids are quite like I don't know they're not dark brown but they're kind of grey brown but yeah so I'm just doing that with a um, real technique sponge and I'm gonna set it with my Laura Mercier concealer because I have hooded eyes, so my eyes crease. And then I'm yeah, so I'm using the Morphe 350 palette two, sorry, Second Nature, and I'm using another Zoeva brush. I think it's the Lux Crease brush, and I'm going in with the shade Universal. Um, to be honest, it doesn't really show up on my skin tone, um, but it does show up once I've put more shadows down, like it's good to blend and everything. So yeah, I'm just going to be like trying to build that up just so I have a background and a canvas. Um, and then I believe the next shade I'm going to go in with is, well, it's a mixture between contour and orb. Um, and that's just gonna, I'm gonna start to build up um, 
my halo eye I'm missing out the center of my eyelid just because I'm gonna blank that out with concealer so it doesn't even make sense to put anything there and then I'm blending that all out with a clean brush which is also a Zoeva brush I'll put more details in the description box because I literally can't remember what the name is and yeah I'm just doing blending motions not like completely back and forth sort of like circular and back and forth just to spread the shadow and now I think I'm going in with contour yeah this is me going in with contour again some of these shadows don't show up straight away on my lid just because um, of my skin tone to be honest but once they're all blended together and they've built up it's really nice so yeah this is definitely contour and again just building up the halo eye this might actually be a mixture between flux and contour but they're pretty similar colors anyway similar tones and i'm just building this up <gasps> excuse me i have a cold i've had a cold literally the whole of christmas so annoying um yeah and now i think yep yeah, i'm going in with a blaze which is a really 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 nice orange color in the palette I actually love this color as well as fire they're like my two favorite colors in the palette and again just sort of going either side so the inner and out of corner inner and outer corner and then just blending that all together so that it's seamless now i'm going to take my concealer this is the nyx concealer and i'm going to put that in the center of my eyelid and using the real techniques brush I'm going to cut my crease, um, I'm not doing a full cut crease, obviously I'm doing the halo eye, so it's literally just the centre and I want to spread that out, um, just so basically it looks like a halo, um, or more like, you know, like a sunset over an ocean, I guess, um, I feel like that's a little bit dramatic, but it's the only thing that I can sort of use to explain it. And then I'm just gonna, I'm using patting motions because I don't want to pick up any of the concealer. I want it to dry down. Now I'm taking the shade Zippy, which is a really nice bronzy shimmer shade. And I'm placing that all where I've put the concealer. I'm not, well, I'm trying really hard not to rub because I don't want to lift it, but I'm using patting motions and sort of just delicately pat, um, rubbing either side just to, so it's not too harsh. Now I'm going in with the colours that I used before, so I'm going in with a blaze on either side uh, with a mixture of heat just to sort of blend the shimmer into the eyeshadow. I'm now going down with Rich um, in a mixture with Brunette to add some depth to the shadow. Yeah, my camera literally died. Well, it didn't die, it overheated, but basically I'm doing the same thing as I was saying before. Just adding in Rich and Brunette on the sides along with Heat and a Blaze, just to add some depth to the shadow. <laughs> this is so strange for me, cause like, it's the first time I've done a voiceover. Usually I'm literally, I just speed up the video. Um, so yeah please give me feedback if you like this way or if you prefer me to literally do a talk through um but i wanted to try out i want to try out loads of different things but yeah as i said going in with rich and brunette just trying to add depth and then once i finish this i'll be back to explain and I forgot to mention, actually, I put more Zippy in and then I also layered some Pure on. I haven't put it on here, but I'm just going to say from now um, because I'm going to do, excuse me, I'm going to do the other eye off camera. Um, but basically, I just keep building up with those four colours, Heat, Ablaze, Rich and Brunette. And then with the two shimmers, I put Zippy mainly for the bronzy colour. And then I just add a little bit of pure in the center eventually to just make the eye really pop. Okay, now I'm onto my face. I'm using the NYX 
uh, Honey Dew Me Up Primer. I wanted to try this for a long time. Um, I can't say much yet because I literally got it like a week ago. I've only just really started to try it, but I would say it's really tacky, which I personally like because it means that my foundation sticks to it and it literally doesn't like when I'm using a brush or I'm blending out none of my foundation gets displaced whereas when I either don't use a primer or I'm using like I don't know the NYX pore filler for example I don't really feel like it does anything for me um I just wanted to try it because I did have large pores at once um and then I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty foundation in the shade 370 it's a little bit like a little bit too light for me but um, it oxidizes and it's got the right undertones whereas 380 and 390 they're red and um, one of them's neutral as well or something like that anyway one of them would make me look gray and one made me look really red um, so I'm going in with the um, Real, Technique, uh, Real Techniques brush um, I got this in a pack with like three brushes from Superdrug for $7.99 it was really really good So I'm going in with my Nip and Fab concealer. I actually really like, really, really like this concealer. And it was, I think it was like five pounds at the time in Super Drugs. It's gone up. The only thing I'd say is that they need to expand the range. But to be fair, it's I went into a Super Drug in like Uxbridge. So there might actually be like more variety elsewhere. This is just what I came across. But I think actually I looked on the website and they didn't have more so I think hopefully they'll do that maybe this year and now I'm going in with that brush I was talking about this is by Real Techniques that was in the set and I'm just applying my Laura Mercier powder and I'm patting it in I don't really bake per se I mean I do um, but by the time I've finished, all the powder is sort of, all my natural oils come out and yeah, that's it really. Now moving on to bronzer, the um, Bahama Mama bronzer by The Balm Cosmetics. Um, I quite like it, it's quite subtle, um, it's not too close to my skin, skin tone and not too dark either. Now going in again with the Sleek Face Contour Palette, um, I got it in the shade Dark and I usually just sweep my brush across all three. Now I'm going in with the Laura Geller um, Gilded Honey Highlighter and the Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife. Again with a fan brush by Real Techniques from that set and I'm just going to apply it where everyone literally applies their highlight. Now I'm going to highlight my nose which is my favourite thing to do as well because my nose is not really that defined, it's literally just, it's, I wouldn't call it a button nose but it's, yeah I can't really explain it like my nostrils aren't defined whatsoever I'm, and then I'm doing either side with some contour I'm putting this part in just so that you can see it in case anyone likes it but basically I use the Fenty Beauty um, lip paint in I don't even remember the name but do you know the one the only one she has basically um that's so bad that I don't remember but yeah anyway I put this on but I actually really hated it maybe it's because I didn't let it dry but um I put it on and it just looked too much maybe because my face wasn't too defined um but so um this isn't actually the lip that I go for at the end of the video but I thought I'd just leave it in in case anyone actually likes this now putting on um so susan lashes i'm not doing it on camera because i'm literally 
my eyes test me when it comes to lashes anyway now I'm putting the same shadows that I used on my uh, lid um, on my under eye Okay guys, so this is the finished look, um, yeah, I, I don't know if I'm going to keep the video in and if I have, then as you can see I have changed my lip colour, let me bring it a little bit closer, I've changed my lip colour because the lip colour was just very dead, um, I tried to do red and the red just didn't look good and then um, I did with like a brown lip liner all over because sometimes the gloss just doesn't go well on my face did that that was trash so um yeah this is it um on the day i will probably have my hair curly but for the purpose of this video i've just kept it straight because i don't want to add any curls into my hair until tomorrow which will be new year's eve so today if you're watching um wow well, doing some you know elf vibe i feel like when people put their hair behind their ears it's kind of elfy maybe it's because i watch too much fantasy films um and they always put the ear behind the hair behind the ear to show off the pointy ears but yeah um so the hair just doesn't look like it has any body right now um because i've just got it brushed out but yeah this is the finished look i'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see but um I am wearing, um, as you can see from the video, I'm wearing So Susan lashes in the style Vogue. As I said at the beginning of the video, thank you for coming and watching and I hope that you enjoyed the video. Also, I'm going to put some earrings in, that's what was missing. I'm going to refilm this bit because that was very dead. Oh my days, my ears hurting me. There you go. All the uh, products that I've used will be in the <sighs> description box. That's the one. Um, yeah, so anyway, guys, please, 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 please like this video comment if you liked it and subscribe to my channel please 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 i want to get like 100 by the end of january so you know if you could subscribe now before the year has ended then that would be great um also follow me on my other social media so instagram is at dalai mama dot jpeg so jpg and um my Twitter is just Shah McD, same as my YouTube. And my Snapchat is S McD, if you want to add me on there. Sometimes I do stupid stuff with makeup. But yeah, um, yeah, so anyway, I hope you guys like this video. And I hope you like it better than the first one, because obviously I'm trying to get better. And um, what else? I say um a lot. Uh, but yeah, um, anyways, I hope you guys have a great, 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 great New Year's Eve, whether you're staying at home or you're going out with your friends, which I will be doing. I literally just came off the phone to my friend and I'm so excited. And um, yeah, if you drink, then I hope that you enter the new year drunk um, and just like really joyful. Um, and yeah and i hope everyone you know enters the new year right and that yeah i don't really know what else to say now um anyway i will see you guys again in 2018 and yeah thanks again for watching 
Bye. <laughs> we just focus on me. Can you focus on me? Pretty fit, work, 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 work. Can you just stop me something up? Well, if a man not treat you right, deserve.